You ever been told to stop praying? You ever hear a voice that tells you, stop davening, stop, stop, stop wanting this? Well, in our parsha, we actually have that voice. Hashem telling Moshe Rabbeinu, Rav Lach, Al Tosef, stop davening to come into Eretz Yisrael. Now, how many prayers would Moshe Rabbeinu pray to come into Eretz Yisrael? We know. The numerical value of the word Va'etchanan, the name of the parsha, is 515. He prayed 515 prayers to go into Eretz Yisrael. When did he start praying to go into Eretz Yisrael? Most probably when he was told that he's not going into Eretz Yisrael. That was the day his sister died, the 10th of Nisan. Later that day he hits the rock, and then he's told, you're not going in. So I want to share with you an incredible teaching from the Chatam Sofer based on a brilliant calculation that he did. If you count three prayers a day from the 10th of Nisan, four on Shabbos, four on Yom Tov, the 515th prayer comes out, Mincha of Yom Kippur. So Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, stop. Because if you do that one more davening, that's Tfilat Neila. And then, those gates, they're wide open. I can't say no. Dearest friends, the learning we have from that calculation in our parsha is that Hashem has never told us stop davening for what you want the most. Hashem never tells us to stop davening. And even if it seems that we've been praying 515,000 prayers to come into Eretz Yisrael, you'll never hear the voice that tells you stop wanting this, stop davening for this. Perhaps the most profound lesson from Parshat Vaitchanan is Moshe Rabbeinu telling us I was told no, but no one told you to stop. Have a beautiful Shabbos.